Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. Be sure to subscribe before we get started and thumbs up this video if you love the show Salem. I created this look just in time for the brand new season 3 set to premiere November 2nd and I was very inspired by the character Mary Sibley. For those of you who are familiar with the show you will know that Mary is the most powerful witch living in the town of Salem. This show is entirely based off of the Salem witch trials of the 17th century. It's a really amazing show and if you're like me and you love to play The Crucible or the movie starring Winona Ryder, The Crucible, you would probably really enjoy this show. Some of you may find it interesting to know that I was actually a featured extra on this show in season one, episode seven. You can see here my back facing the camera and I've got the blonde hair here and I'm facing Shane West. He may look super familiar to all of you because he played Landon in the movie A Walk to Remember. Super fun fact. This show has amazing set design, great characters, and I especially love Mary Sibley because she's beautiful, she's powerful, and has great style in every episode. So if you would like to know how to get my glam version of Mary Sibley's look, then please keep on watching. To start off this look, you're gonna wanna prime your skin, and I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is gonna protect our skin and prep it for our foundation today. For foundation, I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation because it's matte and very full coverage. Her look was very, very matte and it definitely was not dewy, so this is the perfect foundation for that. And I'm just applying this all over my face and blending out with a brush. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but I'm actually going to use a shade lighter than what I normally use because she is quite pale in the TV show and I just want to really highlight and brighten up my face. So I'm applying this underneath my eyes, my chin, my forehead, and blending out using a damp sponge. So next you're going to want to go in and set underneath your eyes and I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder to bake underneath the eyes. I like to keep this on for a bit and then set my entire face using my normal face powder which is the Tarte Smooth Operator in Light. Next I just like to go back in with the brush and dust away that bake. Moving on to the brows, you'll notice when you watch the show Salem that Mary's look is very much so concentrated on her brows. She has amazing brows, they stand out so much, and it's something that I notice a lot when I'm looking at pictures of her or on the show. So they're very dark and they're also very straight and they kind of come inwards a little bit. So I'm elongating the inward part of my brow to make hair-like strokes in the front. I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in number five. This is a shade darker than what I normally use Use, and I'm filling them in to kind of match her style of brow. I like to go in with a concealer just to clean them up and then I like to go in with a brow gel and feather the brow hairs out and up because her brows are very feathery, very furry and full so that's what I'm doing here. So first you're going to want to prime and set your lids before your shadow and I'm jumping right into the Tarte Cosmetics Color Vibes palette. I'm taking the shade for Realism which is a taupey gray and I'm popping this right into the crease and kind of feathering this out and buffing this into the eye. I'm also going to take this down into the lower lash line as well just for a nice cool tone halo around the eye. Next I'm taking a warmer brown and I'm going right over the area we laid down the taupe color and I'm just buffing right over this and concentrating this in the outer V. To highlight the brow bone, I'm using the shade Base Coat, which is a nice shimmery white. I'm also going to apply this on the lid and the inner tear duct. I wanted to create a little baby wing that really defines the eye, so I'm using the Stilla liner for this, and I'm just creating the smallest little wing liner. Taking the Makeup Geek Spectrum Liner in Obsidian, I'm going to line the lower lash line. I'm not taking this into the waterline, just concentrating this right onto the lash line only and blending with that taupey color we used in the crease. Next, I'm going to apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes and apply some false lashes. I'm using the Coco Lashes in the style Marilyn. They're very wispy and very beautiful. And this is the final Mary Sibley eye look. So for contour today, I wanted something really cool toned, so I'm using the Lunatic Labs Cosmetics Contour Palette, and I'm taking these two shades here and mixing them together, and I'm going to contour the hollows of my cheeks, as well as my jawline, and also just around my face to slim it out, because Mary does have really great bone structure, so I'm going to try to define my face just like hers. 
I'm skipping out on blush today because she rarely ever wore any blush in the show. I'm just gonna highlight, and I'm using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Ice Cold Highlighter, and this is a beautiful, very pale shade that's perfect for our complexion and for her look. I'm highlighting my cheekbones and all around my face, as well as the bridge of my nose. For lips, she always wore a nude lip, so I am mixing two shades today from Ofer Cosmetics. These are both liquid lipsticks. The first shade I am laying down is called Angelus, and this is a beautiful pinky nude. It has a bit of sparkle in it. And then I mixed Bel Air right on top until I reached the perfect nude that looked a lot like the color she was wearing in the show. So for hair, Mary always had her hair parted down the center, so I'm doing the same with mine, and I'm adding in some long extensions to make it thicker and fuller, and these are by Bella Me, and these are the Bugatti set in off black. So I'm just popping these right in, and I'm gonna curl my hair in a way that really frames my face and adds a lot of body because her hair was very voluminous, and it was just framing her face really beautifully. And after you've curled your hair, you can fluff it out and tease it if you want, and you've got the perfect Mary Sibley hairdo. All right, beauties, I hope you enjoyed this look inspired by Mary Sibley from Salem. If you do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos from me. Thank you all for watching today, and I will see you all in my next tutorial.